desktop trainers uh, for naval aviators on the carrier. So my old air wing, CAG-9, carrier wing 9, they're now on the Lincoln. We were on the Stennis, which is in a major overhaul. Anyways, dude, they're putting sims on the carrier so you can practice tactics uh, on the carrier. So F-35, Super Hornet, Growler, and the Hawkeye. Oh, is that have... supposed to be a F-35 side stick? I was trying to figure that out because it looks like a Viper stick, but I guess that's because it's a little, little <clears throat> off. Is that what the F-35 looks like? I don't know, dude. Uh, <clears throat> I looked at this as, I mean, I, I, this doesn't look like it's on a ship to me. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know what kind of stuff. I know they're not F-18 <laughs> sticks and not uh, Hawkeye yokes. So look, they put the Sims on the ship so you can practice. Was it? uh wombat a wall banger yeah dude so wombat was a wall banger um uh, which is too bad he couldn't what, make it tonight what uh, does wall banger mean that's just their the name of their squadron someone who wall bangs um i don't know your posture. what you, are you done with that yeah i'm just gonna talk there it don't is <clears throat> dude it looks like it all right yeah. so that's what the fat yeah, amy grip looks like there you go How yeah so that? we didn't have sims on the ship uh, when I was in, uh, and I, in my mind, simulator events on the carrier, uh, mover, when you were deployed, did you guys have Sims? No, <laughs> okay. there was no Sim, like nothing. We watched movies or we flew. Correct. That's, that's what we do on the carrier. We watch Rollums, Jim movies. Yes. Cow. Yes. I'm work. It's yeah. like, it's a, it's, and I don't know, in a single seat squadron, each pilot, junior officer for sure has like, you know, three to five jobs. And I never had any time. Now, that being said, I'm sure they'll carve out another hour or they'll put it in the syllabus for an upgrade or something for sim time. But I just wonder how how effective it would be. I will say this, though. <clears throat> when we're on the boat doing carrier ops and we're no kidding deployed when I was going through my upgrades, especially the air to air stuff, it was always a little frustrating because the entire event is part of the launch and recovery cycle. So it's a, you know, it's a one plus 15 cycle or one plus 30 and that's all dependent on how much gas is available and whatnot. So, and we all had our fuel ladders. So I did a lot of air to air events in the Hornet uh, for my upgrade at max E. <laughs> so yeah. max endurance for the kids. Yes. Down. Max endurance, which was about 250 knots, which is like roughly half the speed that you would normally do this. And, and <clears throat> since uh, we were all on ladder, basically even a lot of the red air, if they were super Hornets, maybe they could give me one run or one set or they could be uh, tactical speeds. But then after that, you know, pretty much you're doing this. Everyone's doing 250 knots, these intercepts, and they don't really happen as mover the can attest. The timeline is messed up. Right. The timeline is messed up because, you know, when you do these at real tactical speeds, you get kind of a cadence going. And that's how we train on, on shore because we have much more control of our fuel and when we land, whereas we don't have that much control out at sea. So... That being said, I could see how having these sims on the ship would allow for, okay, guys, go out. You know, there's no replacement for doing it in a real airplane. I mean, even at 250 knots, there's still all the, you know, startup, go hit the tanker, all the logistical stuff, all the calm that needs to happen. But it would be, it would have been kind of nice to 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 be able to go tactical speeds at least to get the calm cadence down again, the yeah. radar mech down again. Uh, things like that. So I don't think it's uh, completely useless. I think it has its place. I just kind of wonder, I'm more curious than anything else, how uh, how much of it they're going to put on the air crew as far as like their training and, and basic quals. And I guess it depends on the fidelity too of the sim. So I don't know. What do you think, Moore? I think this is a precursor to Top Gun, the next one. Because instead of giving the brief, he's going to have them do the sim <laughs> to practice before they go in. This was the part of the movie you didn't see because they had to practice it on the ship before they went into bad guy land. So I think they'll determine who team leader is based on the outcome of that. That is the, yeah, the team leader will be determined by who has the highest score, which is inversely proportional to who has the most quarters. 
So, uh, <laughs> but oh, you know, I mean, I can see the validity when we in the F-16 world, one of the things we used to do was we'd go up to like Vermont or Mesa and do the link sims because yep. you could get so many reps, you know, you're talking about, uh, cadence and stuff like that, even at ludicrous speed, which is what we flew. Cause we're better at pilots at, than the Navy. <laughs> uh, so we never trained half ass like that. <laughs> so even doing this at, at full speed, you don't get a lot of reps, right? You do 20 minute vol. That's it. You know, you're bingoed out, you're done, you defended the target and stuff. When you do a sim, you can set it up, change the aggressiveness of the red air and, you know, give them everything you got, our building block approach, and you and your three other buddies can, you know, fights on, knock it off, fights on, knock it off. And it's instant reset. Okay, new jet, new day, instant reset, you know, and the kills are permanent kill removals for that vol. So there's a lot of good training that happens because that, I agree with you. There's nothing that replaces being in the airplane, but the switchology. Now, you've flown the ESA. I haven't. So for me, there's a lot of just muscle memory in just working the radar and all that stuff. When you know you've got godlike situational awareness, now it's just a matter of, I guess, deciding who dies first or whatever. But please, 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 yeah, please. right. You're just you're just you're just cueing people at this point. But still. Like Ammo talked about last week, the interpretation and the here's what's junk, here's what's not, and prioritizing the what your information you're being given, it's hard to do if you're only getting one rep at a time. If you're getting multiple reps in the sim, that's really good training for the switchology. So systems trainer, it's awesome. And even still, like if you're let's say you actually did have a Top Gun Maverick style mission, having that ability to go kind of chair fly it a little bit and, you know, point to point. Okay. I'm going to drop this weapon here. Okay. I need to, you know, go this way, go that way and stuff. Just that little extra edge so that when you get in the jet, it's not brand new. I can see that, you know, I, I don't, I wouldn't see them doing upgrade rides, but I can definitely see as a proficiency trainer, especially in my question to you, Gonky, is the Navy flying fat Amy, like the air force is flying fat Amy and fifth gen where these dudes are only getting a hundred hours a year, because that could be the other piece to this too. Yeah, no, I don't know. You, you you've got a good point. It could be a part of their plan, for, you know, replace flight hours with simulator hours, which I mean, it's yeah. like, but you know, Airplanes actually don't fly anymore off the carrier. We're just simulating within the ship. If we need to fly, we can, right? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you know, so that's 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 the unfortunate when we talked to ammo and we said, how many hours do you have? You yeah, know, I mean, it's, I was surprised. Right. But that's yeah. the reality of fifth gen versus those of us that flew, you know, 250 hours a year. That's why I, I mean, I was thinking about this today, man. That's why the <clears throat> old timers in our time were so good. Is because oh, yeah. those guys flew even more than we did. Right. You know, and that's why they were just like when, at the end of whatever mission you were doing, you do a quick BFM set and they would just crush you. <laughs> well, you know? I always go back to it's law of primacy because I see this myself, right? Like right now, flying the, the big jet, flying helicopter, all the different things I, I fly, you revert to your baseline. So if your baseline was good in that piece of equipment, when you haven't done it for a while, as soon as you do it, you're like, oh, yeah, all oh, right, you know, because I got that good foundation. But if you don't get the foundation and you don't, like, instill it with a lot of repetitions, yeah. it will always be a flail. You will always have that same problem. And yeah. so, like, BFM, you know, the dudes that flew a lot early in their careers are good forever. Yeah, because, because they see it. They, you know, it's like when you and I fly DCS in the their in the baseline's tank, high. We know where to look. Like, yeah. I don't even need to look at you, dude. I know I cut across the circle. I know you're going to be somewhere over here. I could pick you up. Versus somebody who hasn't done it a while. You know, if you ever gone oh. fly, fly against a brand new lieutenant, which you have, you know, they'll go blind. You know, around. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's just like the, I don't, the my first time learning bfm in the in the in the navy i was like you turn in i'm half puking i'm looking i'm like what oh, what, what is going on here <laughs> I, I, that's how I was at iff because iff high aspect 
basic fighter maneuvers was demo. It was not a proficiency <laughs> item. And I remember the IPs like, dude, I'm going to talk you through it. Just do not over G. If you hear the beeper, let off, you know, because it's got the, the single rate, double rate beepers for the uh, T-38C. And that's all I cared about. Like, I'm looking across the circle. It's two miles away, you know, and the t 38s <laughs> like this big. I don't know what's happening. I don't know where he is. I don't know nothing. He's just saying, pull, ease, pull, ease. And I'm like, I'm just... Yeah, it, 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 I'm. it's just voice commands. You know, he, yep. he basically could be talking to Siri right now yep. or telling me what to do with the airplane because I have no idea. Now, Same, yeah. I go fly the F-16, you know, fly 20 something BFM sorties in a month. And it's like, oh, yeah, he's going to be right there every time. You know, yep. just yep. that's you cannot replace that. <clears throat> no, no. But I think like we we're talking about, I think uh, I think it has its place. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah like you know sociology calm cadence and uh yeah you know, that's a good point too pushing the, the right radio <laughs> well that, that you, you the calm cadence something i didn't really even think about but that's yeah. dude knowing what to say and when to say it is almost the, the hardest part yep. because you have to be able to effectively communicate and it's easier to learn it at 1g so that when you revert to you know your basic baseline in the airplane okay I've said this so many times, it's just automatic. I don't even remember saying it. Like I blacked out for a minute because I was just doing what I'd been trained to do. Yep. Um, so I, I do think that has its purpose, but that'll be interesting to see if it, they'll have to, I guess there's no trouble finding a very cold place to run the servers. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it that's be, true. It cannot be the top gun carrier where yeah. everybody's sweating. <laughs> yeah it's like I, I look at that thing i'm like you know that they probably set that up with some poor jo's six-man stateroom it's like well, they uh, probably borrowed somebody's like the jo's like hey, i already got one of these in my uh right yeah next to the xbox it's like a giant linked dcs scenario dude i i mean when i was and obviously we didn't have dcs but like you would go in the, the you go in the six man is the jungle dude and they had like it's like call of duty right i mean like everybody was in there playing like a massive call of duty game so I don't know.